All right, my friends. Oh, hi, Tiller. <laughs> I keep forgetting this stupid intro. Whatever, we'll see what works out. We are about to dive into Maison. This is the third to last video in the Dreamcatcher deep dive, which is more like a wade through before leading up to our going to the concert. Obviously, if you look up the scheduling, you'll figure out where we're going. But uh, we're super excited for it. We were talking a little bit about it because some friends of hers um, had experienced um, either had been to the Atlanta concert. Um, we were able to get uh, some nice tickets, so we're hopefully going to be really enjoying it. Other than that, there's really not much else to say. We're just really excited. It's going to be a long day. We have some plans. Well, it's my sister's birthday, too. So it's going to be a very big, very long day. And then the day after, we have some plans as well to kind of celebrate her birthday and my birthday, which will be, oh my gosh, which will be two weeks from tomorrow. It's on a Thursday. <laughs> anyway, so uh, busy, 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 very tiring, but it's going to be a good time. Uh, I'm glad I already had taken, I, I knew to schedule off that Friday after because I knew I was going to be exhausted. But uh, I gotta be super fast because it is 10, 16 at night. I still gotta edit these suckers. <laughs> I still gotta record the videos themselves, like the music videos, and then edit it. I'm gonna be tired. There's still also some like chore stuff and some other things that gotta get done in the morning. And I'm like, ah, so much to do. <laughs> it's always like this. <laughs> they try to plan, but it never quite works out the way you want it to. But the idea is to have fun. Enjoy the concert, which we know we will, and uh, not have too many high expectations, but just enjoy things, take them as they come. Anyway, it, we've obviously my, I finished recording my reaction to because with my sister because is a very it's a standalone interlude, kind of an interruption between the dystopia arc and now we're into the apocalypse arc. So my thoughts were that in the dystopia arc we see the girls trying to prevent dystopia this tree kind of representing the kind of hope or the world that they have and then slowly being more and more destroyed we see at the beginning of scream this big beautiful tree and it's kind of this big beautiful like arctic kind of area a bit of a wasteland but still kind of beautiful and then by the end of it we see this small kind of sickly tree that is you know, almost being drained of its energy. And I kind of realized also with Boca, it almost feels like a bit like a prequel. Like they're they're with the tree when it's a baby. And so they're those protectors, but in the end they couldn't save it. And so everything kind of fell apart and now we're into the now we're in well, now we're in the apocalypse. Apocalypse was not prevented. Dystopia was came the dystopia kind of rolled through and rolled over and now we're in the middle of the apocalypse. So I know a little bit about Maison. I know it's about about protecting the planet. It's a bit environmentalism, which sometimes makes me shirk back because I see like the bad parts of environmentalism in terms of one of those things like we can agree on the observation. We may not agree on the how to's thing. Um, and I'm, I'm not really a fan of kind of vague this is happening or that's happening with the whole ridiculous kind of climate change crap. But what we do see in reality is at pollution and other issues and there are active realities that can be prevented and hopefully can be cleaned up. I know as of right now I'm recording this video for a while there was a major disaster in Ohio and the people are ex experiencing it's going to be kind of one of those long-lasting things. I want to put it to the level of Chernobyl. It's definitely not that level but it's definitely kind of like with Flint. Um, in Michigan. What is with these like these poor like Midwest states just having like the worst time. So with like water and other things caused by caused by people who don't care, who aren't being aware of their actions. And so there are things that are preventable. There are things that can be fixed and can be cleaned. So I'm not a fan of the vague climate change thing, but I am all for, okay, what's the problem? How do we look for a solution? And I know Mason kind of references that, you know, we have one earth people. We really, we're supposed to be the cultivators and taking care of the earth. Um, when we're, you know, when Adam and Eve got the command to subdue the earth, 
it was to take care of it to help it grow and blossom and when people put their selfish interests first and they allow ignorance to kind of an apathy to run its course you see these great destructions and a lot of it a lot of it is and was preventable unfortunately but people chose to you know see no evil hear no evil speak no evil in the kind of apathetic sort of sense and not the preventable sense other than that there's nothing else to say i keep playing with the wax that was on my cheese without further ado there's pauses there's always pauses let's dive in and yes i do know that this was the song that got them their first win. Bravo to the Dreamcatcher staff that caught their reactions. As if they, they kind of secretly knew. Who knows? VFX, I, I have seen this video like once, maybe twice. VFX, I know are top tier. And we're getting like these portal rough. Oh, well, I'll push play now. So we're getting references to portals and other things, which obviously spills over into vision. Oh, the, the heads. What's with the toy heads? I love that. Ooh, li lyrics off, please. Thank you. Translate lyrics off. They really went like full throttle with the. You almost like a game character here. They really went full throttle with the. Like makeup and the costumes of these girls. I'm gonna pause. I know right before the chorus. I know. I know. I know. We're kind of getting, again, we got the urban decay and the major dystopia, but they're clearly in this beautiful kind of like castle where it's almost removed from the destruction that they couldn't prevent. And now we see these different portals and other things in their way of trying to like, okay, we're in dystopia. There are people who are trying to keep us in the apocalypse and take advantage of it and we've got to step up you know the movements always surprise me like i don't if i i'm not a choreographer i don't know how to choreographer Okay, I didn't pause this time before Dami. So now she is observing what's going on. She actually took some guards out, which is pretty cool. And the powers, which I know rolls into vision. She's watching the destruction. Oh, that's pretty. So they have these portals they can go to different parts of the world. All right, I'll stop. I'm almost, oh, we get the kind of like the green like digital worlds almost. Okay, I'll pause. I know right in the middle of the chorus. I'll rewatch it. Don't worry, I always rewatch it. But I was gonna say again, I'm not a dancer. I'm not a choreographer. But the movements they do for Mason always throw me off because I'm like I wouldn't think to put those with. Like, I wouldn't think to put those movements with the chorus. So I was like, so in, in my opinion, the Maison chorus dance movements are not my favorite. They're not. But they're trying to be kind of like, I don't know. Again, they still, the movements still surprise me. I'm always like, huh, would not think to put those movements with there. So that's my two cents. Okay, so they're observing actually different. Like, so Gaian's in the desert, urban decay and destruction. Gia with a bridge again. She does a lot of bridges, doesn't she? But they're watching the destruction and that selfish kind of destruction of the world. The Rams had sort of giraffes? Why are they all giraffe heads? That's so random. <laughs> And the powers, which I know, rolls into vision. Oh, this is cool. We kind of have this beautiful, almost lot, like representative of life turning into a representative of death. The Rams had a little bit satanic in the, in the reference there. 
Nice. So they're almost like guardians in their Olympus. Oh, I just realized the signs are a reference to, uh, sorry, California. Oh, wait, I paused right before the, is there anything I missed? Any extra scenes? No, I'm just made on. I have to say, and I know this is probably, I don't know if it's a controversial opinion, but I kind of like the songs in Dystopia a little bit better. They're a little bit more hardcore. Anyway, I'm going to rewatch it, try to absorb it a little better, and then... I'll do the review. Jump cut. Alrighty, my friends. And I had to be a little fast too because my battery's about halfway through. So, rewatch it. Turn on the lyrics. The lyrics are pretty straightforward. I mean, my sister said it was going to be a very straightforward music video. It's a very straightforward music video. Once you turn on the translated lyrics, there's no really mistaking about what it is. I didn't realize that before the chorus, they were saying break your habit now. So, that the pronunciation thing. So, I'm assuming it has to do with break the habit whatever the habit it is that is causing this destruction, whether it's apathy or laziness or whatever. Oh no, I'm not ready for vision yet. Go back. Whatever it might be. We see different things though. We see Yuyama make a dramatic entrance here, but we also see that in the beginning with the water in the back and the water is red and it's poisoned. So it's, it's useless. So it's, well, it's poisoned. We see a lot of the graffiti, which kind of an indication. I mean, the whole building is covered with it. Just how, like, well, it also visually speaking, it brings color to the music video, but it also kind of talks about just like nothing matters anymore. There's no respect, so to speak, for any of the battlings or foundations. What would there be? There's no one in them anymore. We also see these sculptures in chains. There's a particular one. I don't know if it was Lady Justice or something. But kind of this idea of, of beauty being completely thrown out the window and not being appreciated of the probably the natural beauty of the world, but also like honoring of just beauty in general. And kind of, I mean, there's some current art pieces that are just laughing stock. No one understands what art's supposed to be anymore. This is to make me laugh a little bit with Cayenne right before the first chorus. I don't know what's in her hand, but it just looks like a really shiny Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> I know it's not what it is, but I don't know what it is. I can't tell. I do love, I love Dami's rap, rap, which is pretty much the second verse. When she goes, people do whatever they want. Oh, hold on, hold on a second, let me press. I'm letting it play in the background. Don't do that. She goes, people do whatever they want. A confession with anything but a shell. Close your eyes. Through checking. Okay, so this kind of plays a couple different roles. So we see her kind of observing no signal. So there's a couple, I think there's kind of a double reference here. These big fires. Now, forest fires are natural things. Now, they're going to be idiots who start them. And that's what they get arrested for. Forest fires are actually kind of a natural thing, but if you don't take care of the environment and allow things to burn and kind of run the course the way it's supposed to, it does sort of make the fires worse. So I remember reading about like different, like the science behind why some fires burn, why they do that. It's not really a climate change thing. It's kind of, it happens all the time. But there can be human causes behind the fires, which can cause destruction where there's not meant to be destruction or where there wouldn't be if it wasn't for human foolishness. But also with what Dami is saying, people do whatever they want, a confession with nothing but a shell. It kind of, I think, plays to, it's a bit of a twofold, twofold here. One is, cor I can't look at the display. One is corporates who say, oh yeah, we'll do this, this, and this, but they actually don't. Or maybe certain policies that are meant to be environmentally friendly but actually are damaging because, and we experienced we experience actually quite a bit in, in the government, is that they'll say, okay, we're going to do this and this and this to help the environment. It's all about the environment. But it's like, wait a minute, when I actually read what you wrote, one of it's going to make things worse, actually. What you're trying to promote is actually more disastrous than what you're um, saying. The other thing is also probably i don't know if it's what they were inferring but kind of the idea also that there are those who will say 
you know, be all about environmentalism, but actually don't care and don't mean it. It's just a talking point for them. It's signal. It's virtue signaling. I think a good example of this was that someone had, there was, this was like a couple years ago or a few years ago, there was this kind of environmental climate change march or whatever it was somewhere. It was something small. And someone took pictures of the afterwards and there was trash and stuff everywhere. And like, you're supposed to be all about like protecting the planet and everything, but you've left just hundreds of pounds of trash behind. Like, totally you don't care. Like, if this means nothing to you. And so people who are... I think it's, it's more geared more towards corporations based upon the lyrics and the visuals. But I think it also can apply to people who are just, like, virtue signaling, to use that phrase. I am a little confused by the corporate dinner that Sua crashes. I think there's also a bit of some issues with um, scale, actually, because she looks really tiny and then she looks kind of normal on the table. Why the giraffes? Is that a reference on, that's going over my head? The ram's head is... I'm sure it has multiple references to it. A little bit. It could also be like the golden calf. Just other things, but it's it's a darker reference. I do love the really cool, powerful, like, final bridge. Uh, bridge like, outro. Where you see kind of this beautiful representation of life and it turns into almost you know, nuclear almost the way it glows blue like this death you see this cracking ram's head and then cayenne kind of break apart almost a representation of it and then send it away so uh, i don't know if it's kind of saying like you know it may seem like it's an impossible to face off but w we can do it i'm not sure we also see oh i just realized different art references i don't know if it's the same sculpture like the hunter or something like the kind of like these classical sculptures that represent, you know, you know, utilizing nature, but not, but also like I don't know, I don't know where I'm going anymore. It looks like the same sculpture though, over and over again. Is there anything else I wanted to add? Oh, I like the kind of little play on words at the end with, le, with the going la maison la 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 maison. Obviously, it's, it's a song thing, it's a vocal thing, but also the maison, not spelled that way, but. With the L and the apostrophe in Maison is the house, I think. I don't want to speak French, but I'm assuming that's what it means. The home. So I like that little play on words there. I appreciate that. And I actually like this and, and Boca, how they utilize words from different languages. I know they do a lot of English, but I do appreciate it when they, you know, incorporate Spanish. Um, when they incorporate French and other languages, too. Because sometimes certain words, not only does it, like, you know, auditory-wise kind of, like stick out but also it kind of sometimes you have something to say but maybe a word in a different language summarizes perfectly what you want to say there's a lot of german words that i've learned i'm like yeah that ex describes exactly what i'm trying to say and trying to feel but in one word other than that it's uh, in terms of vfx it's kind of like deja vu it's really impressive it's intense there's a story here we can understand it it's a very understandable story if you have no idea like you don't try on translated lyrics, you kind of have an idea of kind of what's going on. It was a little bit, oh, sorry. The storylines, it's kind of for you, too. Oh, we still have vision and then reason to get to. My gosh. All right, anything else? Oh, I pulled my blanket down. Nope, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Share with somebody. I don't care anymore. <laughs> but till next time.